obviously I didn't do a video last week. I have been so so busy and I'm still prepping, still sticking to plan and still doing everything I need to do and I thought I would update you guys. This time is just going so so fast like it's nuts. Um, four weeks out now um, we missed week five so I'm going to update you on week five and I will update you on week four as well um, as some changes have been made um, my shape is looking a little bit different and we've kind of had to take a small step back and do a reset as well so I'm going to update you guys on everything that's happened so stay tuned and I will let you know right so let's start with my check-in um my last check-in with Meg was um from week five was one of the hardest weeks I've had on prep um I ended up being unwell and uh it meant that I couldn't stick to plan the way I wanted to I hate being unwell probably like many of you guys don't like being unwell and I do everything I can to boost my immune system so I had to do that and that meant having more carbs so I had oranges and ginger and I made a ginger juice three times that week with orange ginger some honey and water and um, it helped a lot um, but it's not part of my plan and when it comes to bodybuilding and prepping for competition every single macro counts every single calorie counts and I let Meg know that I was a bit unwell and I had to do that as well so she was uh, aware of what I had to do to make myself feel a little bit better um, I don't really like taking uh, pills I'm very I take <laughs> the more holistic approach and just do natural stuff and I didn't take any pricey or more ibuprofen so and I still got better yeah I obviously recovered however um, as well as that I was just feeling a little bit low that week um, I also had people who were who I was meant to rely on that I could not rely on as well which disappointed me that week and again my patience was very low and uh, I was a bit angry and I was frustrated and that was not a great week um, but I knew I felt like I wasn't going to have a drop because my stress was high um, my hunger was high my adherence to nutrition was wasn't good it was like a let's say 7.5 out of 10 and um, due to having to change things around to get better and um, yeah it just my performance was okay in the gym to be fair but I think that was the week or coming back from the deload so it was always going to be a little bit lower than normal but it wasn't bad at all as the week progressed it got better um, but yes then I did my check-in and when I set on the scale I legit cried like I was like oh my god I didn't think my weight would go down and it did it went down 0 0.5 kg I believe and I was just like thank you but I was just so happy to see my weight drop and my waist dropped a little bit as well by 0 0.3 inches so I was like oh. it was just a relief um seeing things still moving in the right direction even though I had a little bit of a bump so that just gave me so much motivation so much hope going into the next week and I have been so much better so focused I've been journaling more um, I've been taking some time to focus on myself a little bit and build my business I've been finally working on my website I have gotten to do my logo my logo is completely new as well which I'm really excited about I've been working with my clients really closely as well but yes I'm super super excited I've been working on that on the side which is also why I've been quite busy but the other reason why I've also been really busy is because I've been doing a lot of makeup on weekends and that's normally when I edit so I've been doing makeup for so I did makeup last week for two girls and I had a big weekend for six girls I did makeup for and hair for two of them as well and that was so so nice I feel like 
for me when i do makeup it's very therapeutic another thing which it just allows me to tap into my creativity a little bit um i have been a makeup artist for seven years and i started a little bit last year but nowhere near as what i've been doing recently and yeah i'm really grateful and i'm grateful i have these skills i'm grateful i can make these women feel prettier and more confident another thing i do when i am a little bit stressed or overwhelmed or when i feel like i need some downtime which is something i did last week is bake i love baking like you're gonna see some of my show bakes i have done or some of the bakes i have done I absolutely love baking and it's so funny because I don't have a sweet tooth <laughs> yes I don't have a sweet tooth so I'm a bit of a feeder and obviously I couldn't have anything that I baked and I couldn't taste throughout so when I give it to people I'm like how is it it's nice <laughs> but um, I bring most of it to work and I gave some to my um, my friend Timmy and um yeah everyone seemed to like it so i made oreo chocolate brownies and i was quite proud of myself they come out really nice and yeah i'll probably do them again post show now in regards to my last check-in my last check-in was my favorite check-in so far it was by far the yeah i i loved it <laughs> and um my weight dropped 0 0.4 kg and this is with steps and everything still the same by the way there's been there was no changes from the week before uh but yes my weight dropped 0 0.4 kg my waist went down 0 0.2 inches again and i was really really happy with how i'm looking i am extremely excited with what i'm bringing um however my uh posterior chain is taking a while meaning my glutes and hamstrings um they are being snails you know whilst the front is the hair the back is a snail but you know the story the snail wins and that means I win from the back. <laughs> so, um, Meg has decided to give me two days of complete rest, meaning no steps, no cardio, no um, training for two days, which are the days I normally do lower body and upper body. And uh, that is to reset my body because it's not just, it's not like a deload because she has also upped my food. On my rest day, I have around, and yeah, I have 40 grams of oats. They have spiked up to 60 grams of oats. And rice has come back into my life. Yes, rice has come back into my life. Um, in two of my meals. Um, yep, rice has come back. 40 grams of rice has come back in two of my meals. Um, my protein's gone up a little bit in one of my meals. And... My fats have drastically gone up as well. They went up really high. I think I've gone from, like on my rest days, I think I only have 10 grams of chocolate. And that went right up to around 60 grams of chocolate. And yeah, that will hopefully make my body kind of work like a sponge and taking all the nutrients it needs for my muscles and my energy of course is a little bit higher but that will really help for my weight to then just plummet i'm really excited to see how my body's going to respond to this slight increase and dip straight back down onto plan i'm excited to see the results of that in my next check-in and yeah i'm feeling good i'm feeling a lot better than the last couple weeks i'm feeling yes i'm feeling focused at the moment in london it's a little bit colder than it has been in the last say two three weeks um we are like around 17 degrees and i have a small condition that affects my blood circulation meaning i will be a lot colder than most very quickly already being on prep my body temperature will dip and 
having this condition on top of that just doesn't really help too much because I am freezing even when I'm at home hence why I have to wear I'm wearing three layers at the moment I am feeling good I'm feeling energized I feel happy I feel grateful I feel thankful I feel yeah elated thank you for joining me on this journey um, to step on stage and yeah that is all I have for you today. I hope you are having an amazing week and an amazing day and sending blessings to all of you.